Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, we're at Dinosaur National Monument. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon. We just got our campsite set up. Uh, we'll probably start our hikes and uh, going around the park tomorrow. But I wanted to show you this amazing campsite. I absolutely love it here. It's off season. Um, so we are inside the uh, National Park, or monument, should I say. But let's take a little tour because it is wonderful here. Okay, so here's our picnic area. Uh, as you can tell, we got our canopy set up and um, the wind can be a little bit ferocious at times, so we kind of just use some bungee cords to uh, strap down our tablecloth. But uh, it makes for a great place for us to be able to have our uh, meals at and just relax when we need to. Okay, so also, if you'll zoom in here, um, I have the camper all set up uh, for the week. That way I get to enjoy the park. That way we don't have to worry about cleaning or setting up. We've got all that taken care of. All I have to do is put the bed in bed mode. All right, so we also have our uh, Jackery set up. It's probably in the 60s today. So we have our solar panel uh, charging our Jackery so that we'll have it for tonight uh, because here at the park, you can only use your generator till 9 p.m. So uh, we won't be able to use the generator tonight. So we'll have our solar. <laughs> Most importantly, what I wanted to show you at our campsite is this amazing view, which is about five or six feet behind our camp. <laughs> it is absolutely breathtaking. It's so peaceful, so quiet. I'm just like in heaven right now, I think. <laughs> As you can see, I got my living room set up so I can relax my feet at the end of the day and <laughs> enjoy the campsite. <laughs> it's the early part of April, so the full season hasn't kicked in yet. So they still have their off-season rate, which is $6 per night. At, and we're right, right now we're at the Split Rock Campground. Um, our, like Coke Cake was saying, our camper is right there and the river's right there. Uh, it's great views. Uh, they have a, a restroom. They have some uh, trash facilities if you needed to get rid of some stuff. Um, but it's a, a very nice campground. Uh, it's more or less within the park. Uh, and there's a hike right as you leave the parking lot. So it's, it's great to be here. Dinosaur National Monument has one of the richest dinosaur fossil beds on Earth. The remains date from the Jurassic period 150 million years ago. The park includes over 210,000 acres in northeast Utah and northwest Colorado, and both areas have lots of trails to explore. In Utah, you'll find the Quarry Visitor Center and Exhibit Hall, which houses a huge wall of over 1,500 fossils embedded in the rock. We stayed in the Split Rock Campground at the park on the Utah side, which sits on the banks of the Green River. Nearby, you'll find petroglyphs at Cub Creek, as well as the cabin of Josie Bassett Morris, who homesteaded here for over 50 years. There are several trails near the cabin, including the Hog and Box Canyon Trail. Dinosaur National Monument has over 10 miles of hiking trails available and the area is absolutely beautiful. If you're just passing through but want to enjoy the park, there are several trails you'll be able to do in just a few hours. The Visitor Center in Jensen, Utah, which is outside the park, offers great cell phone coverage. We got four bars on AT&T, plus free Wi-Fi and restrooms if needed. It is a park that's a little off the beaten path, but that's what made it so enjoyable to us, and we hope to go back very soon. Dinosaur National Monument is definitely worth the trip. Okay, so for lunch today, I fixed a chicken salad um, on a pretzel bread. So what do you think? Delicious. It has uh, rotisserie it's, chicken. It's rotisserie chicken, a little bit of mayonnaise, some walnuts and almonds, and some tarragon for seasoning. 
It's delicious. And the tarragon I uh, grew myself, and yep. then I dried it out and made it. So yep. I know. I know that. <laughs>